Oh, I hope this video isn't super dark. I cut the light off too. Maybe that's why. What light? I ain't cut that light off. Yeah, that, that probably did a little bit too. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. So for this video, I am still talking about grad school. There's something about me and online programs in grad school right now. I've written three vlogs about it. I have not shot a video for one of those three vlogs, but it is just going to be posted on my blog, so that's a bonus. So you can go ahead and check that out if you are interested. Um, but like I said, I am going to talk about um, grad school. So I talked about how to survive um, an online program and this time it is a little bit different. I'm going to just talk about things that may shock you about and being in an online program. So before I move any further, I can give you any more information about that topic. If you have not, I don't, I don't understand this. If you have not, please subscribe to this channel. And if you like this video, please be sure to hit like. YouTube loves it when you hit like. If you want to read this blog or if you want to read the hidden blog that I have not recorded a video for, you can check out my blog site at xjonespennies.blogspot.com. And if you're interested in contacting me, you can via my website at xjonesconsulting.weebly.com. So, like I said, I'm going to be talking about things that may shock you about an online program. And I just thought that it would be something cool to talk about because there are lots of people who are considering being in an online program, but they aren't really sure about it or just sure about the things to expect. And I really feel like I should preface by saying I'm not sponsored by anyone, no online program at all. Um, I'm just speaking from experience as a person who has done both real-time school and done online school i really like it this really works for me in my at this particular stage of my life so i just thought it'd be cool to talk about just things that shock people so here we go number one you will visit the school yes you will visit the school okay it is not always completely online and some online programs are even hybrid so you're like skyping in and they can actually see you so um in my master's program i averaged a minimum of going to the school at least once a semester and you never know when you're going to have to go to the school you may need books you may want to uh, visit a professor's office hours because sometimes professors aren't in state with you but sometimes they are so you will go up to the school for something at some point in time don't be shocked if you have to. Number two, you build relationships with your professors. So just because you're not interacting face to face does not mean you're not building relationships with your professors. Oftentimes you'll have professors more than once. So I, at one point I had one particular professor up to three times for a particular uh, for three different classes. So the professors actually they get to know you they get to know you based on your posts. I've actually had a professor who's just reached out to me because she just felt the need to reach out to me just to make sure you know things were going okay with me so you will build those relationships you don't necessarily have to sit in the classroom in someone's face to build a relationship with them number three all of the participants in the class all of the students are not going to be technologically savvy and i know that some people feel like oh if i'm not technologically savvy i really can't do an online program that is untrue of course you will have to acquire some new skills but everyone is not technologically savvy some people do, do not know how to uh, present things in entertaining ways or interesting ways or new ways. They've never played with technology that way. So you will have classes and there are people who don't necessarily know how to work a wiki space or the Google Drive. And so they're still learning as they're going through. But they have decided to be an online program because not because they're tech people, but because it's convenient for their lives and they're trying to achieve a goal that they wouldn't necessarily otherwise be able to complete number four you will have group projects okay do not be confused by this do not be mistaken do not think it's all individual work that is false you will have group projects and that is when the technology comes into play so yes you'll text people you'll chat with them on the phone maybe you'll skype in with them or do some other sort of face-to-face -face, um um talking with them but you you're definitely going to work online with people in a group so you need to really figure out different methods of interacting like the drive or if you're using a wiki space like i said before you have to figure out how to interact with people because you're still responsible for group work number five you will make friends so you'll be in your cohort and you'll notice that there are certain people that you see every time you're in a class 
And those people you start to interact with, you have better interactions with them. So one thing that I always say, and I've talked about her many times over many different videos, one of the friends that I have now, I met because we were in our master's program together. So we had never, we never would have met each other in real time because there was no way we would have actually interacted with each other. But because we were in the online program or we were in the same cohort and same classes, we actually sparked up a friendship. So she's actually someone who's a friend of mine. Yes, we can go have lunch. Yes, we, you know, we hang out. So you will make friends in an online program and it's not an isolated experience. And number six, the work will be challenging. So I think sometimes people think the work isn't challenging because a professor isn't sitting there with you, but guess what? You're still responsible for the same work that someone who is not in, who is sitting in the class is responsible for. You have the same papers, presentations, you still have the same readings. And the most challenging part is you have to push yourself through it. You have to hold yourself accountable to get all that work done, despite the fact that you won't be sitting there with the professor. So if you're thinking, oh, maybe an online program is not for me, I don't think the work will be challenging, or maybe you're thinking, a pro an online program is for you because the work isn't challenging that is false the work is definitely still challenging so just to do a quick recap of this video there were six things that i listed that may shock you about online programs okay so number one you will visit the school at some point in time. Shocker. <laughs> Number two, you will build relationships with your professor. So even though you think you may not, you will. So don't be worried about that. Number three, all participants are not technologically savvy. So do not think that because you aren't savvy, you can't do a program or don't think because you're in a program, everyone will be savvy. That is not necessarily the case. Number four, you will have group projects. Yes, you will have to work with a group to get assignments done. So prepare yourself for that. Number five, you'll make friends. So don't think you're going to be isolated. You will definitely make friends in these programs. And number six, the work will be challenging. It's not going to be a breeze. So don't think there's going to be a breeze if you sign up for an online program. Um, so like I said, this was just a quick video, just things that may shock you about being in an online program. Um, if you did like this video, please be sure to click like. I'll like it if you click like. Not as much as YouTube maybe, but I'll definitely still like it if you click like. And if you have not already done so, I'm still perplexed. Why have you not subscribed to my channel? Please subscribe to my channel. If you would like to read the blog for this particular video, or if you would like to read my hidden blog that I have not recorded a video for, you can check that out at X Jones Penny blogspot.com and if you would like to contact me you can contact me via my website at xjonesconsulting.weebly.com thanks so much for tuning in and i look forward to seeing you next time